So, um, I want to work on some buildings next, but um, before I do anything, I want to make sure that I've got uh, the scale uh, correctly set up in Max. So, let's build something to demo that. In fact, let's just reset. Let's start again. Reset the scene. Don't save. Yes. Okay, so this is like our default Max setup. And I can drag out a box in here. Um, and let's make it um, 9 meters high. And that would be a three story building. You can see it's like super narrow. So let's um, give it some. Then you make it 4 meters wide and 8 meters deep. And you can see uh, our grid is disappearing. That's fine for the moment. Um, so what would be really useful to make sure that this grid actually helps us out a lot so and you can see it's kind of vanishing it's kind of small so let's adjust that first so we're going to right click on here on the snaps toggle any of these will do and just right click and do user grids sorry home grids so let's make our because um, we're working in meters let's make the grid spacing one meter and now we've got seven of those little squares either side so let's make that maybe 10. So now we have a 100 meter grid with uh, made lines every meter, and that's quite helpful. So now if we zero our building, so uh, not tap, not tap, not, you can see that it's sitting directly on the grid lines, which is cool. So let's make another one, an instance, and another one, which is also an instance. There we go. Okay, so the other thing is, um, if you don't see meters here, you need to go into customize and you need to do unit setup like this. And you want to make sure that you click this box, which is metric. So you can see if I okay that, then this all changes to feet. So customize, unit setup, and choose metric. Okay, so the other thing you can do is that under the hood, um, Max is using what's called generic units, so let's just see that. So our building is 324.26 uh, max units, which is an odd number and it's hard to um, judge. And also if you want to talk to us with other packages as well, they won't necessarily know what that is. So the computer software kind of needs to have like a common understanding of what one of these units means. And that's done by going into customize, unit setup, and doing this system unit scale. So currently, because Max is old school, uh, one unit is an inch. Um, and there are a variety of reasons why this is actually quite a good scale to have in maths terms. Um, but it does make talking to pack other packages kind of fiddly. So I think it's much better if you choose one, in, one unit equals one centimeter like this and okay to that. And then we'll change that to metric again. Okay. Um, so now you can see that our building height has actually changed slightly. Um, oh no, so let's go back. Yeah, so our height is now three meters, and that's because it's converted um, the max units, the previous max units value, now into a new unit value. So we're going to change this again. So let's just now make this nine meters. So you need to be kind of conscious of um, what setting units up will do. Uh, because if you do it at the wrong time, then you'll have to kind of go and rescale stuff. So again, we'll choose uh, four meters and then eight meters deep. There we go. And I go customize. Oops, no, not that. It's not top one. Let's just check the home grid. Yeah, it's changed our grid spacing as well. So let's change that to one. And there we have everything back again. So there we go. Uh, my, so my advice is uh, go into customize, unit setup. If you're going to use other packages, um, then try and set that to a metric value, either centimeters or meters. I tend to use centimeters. Um, generally easier to, much, uh, to work with meters here as well. And then right click on here and set your user grid to something, sorry, your home grid to something sensible so that you can make good guestimates of the um, distances of things from just looking at the grid.